AOC is infuriated because there's a new parody account on Twitter making fun of her. Why are people so upset at Target for selling LGBT products for children? Where else is a six-month-old member of the LGBT community supposed to shop? Imagine believing you know more about science than Greta Thunberg. Like, 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 literally. That kind of thing. I mean, it's amusing, but it's hardly dangerously misleading. It certainly doesn't merit having a meltdown over. And how did AOC respond? She had a meltdown over it. FYI, there's a fake account on here impersonating me and going viral. The Twitter CEO is engaged at boosting visibility. It is releasing false policy statements and gaining spread. I'm assessing with my team how to move forward. In the meantime, be careful of what you see. Oh no, be careful! There are jokes about taxing everyone 80% to pay for reparations for transgenders. Her team is assessing it. What a fucking drama queen. What do you want, a congressional investigation? You're gonna throw the creator of it in jail for 18 years with the rest of the J6 defendants? If you're that petrified over a parody account being taken seriously, it probably says more about you than it does the parody account. Surprised her official account hasn't been mistaken for satire. Any person with two brain cells to rub together would have ignored the parody account. Not AOC. Now she's addressed it. Now she's not just fed the troll. She's seated him at an all-you-can-eat banquet. Like a total idiot, fueling the controversy and making it ten times funnier. This parody account is now going to be the bane of her existence all throughout the next election cycle. It was getting as little as 14 retweets last week. AOC amplifies it like a true galaxy brain. Now some of the tweets are getting millions of views. Perhaps the assessment by your team should have been to shut the fuck up. Because by giving it legs, you've unwittingly created the perfect meme moment. See, son, all you have to do is add the word parody and AOC goes REE! Releasing false policy statements? Like what? Your boyfriend planting a tree every time he farts to offset carbon emissions? I think it's helpful and important to talk to other white people about racism. Remember when boomer Republicans tried to make fun of her over that college dancing video? AOC played up to that because there was nothing to make fun of. But when you zero in on her inherently insufferable girl boss act, the pretentious narcissistic moral high ground grandstanding, when your satire of her statements is so accurate it's almost indistinguishable from the real thing, that's when she gets big mad. Disgusting. She desperately tries to project to this forced millennial relatability. Gamer girl, live streamer, Ikea furniture assembler. While having masked slaves wait on her hand and foot at the Met Gala. Okay. North. North. Bye. 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 And it's all a fraud. Whenever someone lasers in on her supreme arrogance, she crumbles in a heartbeat. She's so far up her own backside, she thinks getting laughed at on Twitter is the new January 6th. But while AOC is freaking out over a total nothing burger, there are genuinely concerning developments happening behind the scenes. Specifically, the FDA's attempt to restrict what vitamins you're allowed to take, and their effort to control the powerful supplement NMN. The government, via the FDA, is making moves to label the NMN supplement as a drug, greasing the skids for the pharmaceutical industry to monopolise it. And that strategy isn't driven by concerns over the safety or efficacy of NMN. It's all a power play to ramp up prices and remove NMN from the common man's reach. NMN, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, is a precursor to NAD+, and has been shown to provide numerous health benefits, improved energy, weight management, strength, even anti-aging. But by potentially reclassifying NMN as a drug, the FDA is restricting access to a supplement that could significantly improve people's lives. A company called Black Forest Supplements is fighting hard for our freedom of choice. And they've decided to keep selling NMN despite the fact that it's extremely risky for them to do so. As regular viewers will know, I've been taking NMN every single day for months now. Increased energy levels, I'm finding it easier to get up in the morning, I feel fresher. Fresher. As well as greater mental clarity and accelerated fat loss. I'm also delighted to be supporting a company that fights against oppressive government tactics and stands for something that I believe in. But with the actions of the FDA potentially putting an end to the sale of NMN, the time to act is now. Get 10% off Black Forest Supplements NMN product by using the code FREEDOM. Secure your supply before it's too late by clicking the first link in the description box down below or the pinned comments. Stay informed, stay empowered, and don't let the government dictate what's best for your health. Now back to the video! After brainstorming with
with my staff. I'm gonna push Congress to make it illegal to joke, laugh, and make fun of me. Parody should be illegal. Again, that's not even that far from the truth. AOC routinely lobbies for the censorship industrial complex to silence her adversaries. She called for Tucker Carlson to be banned the day before he was fired by Fox News. Federal regulation in terms of what's allowed on air and what isn't. And when you look at what Tucker Carlson and some of these other folks on Fox do, it is very, very clearly incitement of violence. The thing that really infuriates AOC is that she's finding it increasingly harder to gag the people who make fun of her. Because up until now, it's worked. Deplatforming works. And it is important. Remember that mini AOC parody account that went viral back in 2019? The one that trolled Ocasio-Cortez as a ludicrous border photo op stunt. An eight-year-old girl yeah. who impersonates Congresswoman Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. My Green New Deal costs like $93 trillion. The girl's family had to remove the account from Twitter after AOC's morally upstanding supporters began sending them a wave of death threats. A Twitter account purportedly run by eight-year-old Ava Martinez's family says the young girl will not do her famous impressions of Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez anymore after receiving death threats and harassing phone calls. Because nothing says hands are we the baddies more than violently bullying an eight-year-old girl off the internet. And when she tried to return to the platform in 2022, Twitter banned her account entirely. Even before Mini AOC went viral, the Twitter account now making fun of her was banned by the social media giant. Pre-Elon Twitter couldn't even be bothered to make up a legitimate sounding excuse to suspend the account. And then there's Twitter, <coughs> suspending a parody account that made fun of Congress Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez for, quote, spammy behavior. This all goes to the point we've pounded on before. As we saw during Trump's town hall appearance with that super highly strong CNN woman. Very simple to you. are a nasty person, I'll tell you. <laughs> Shit libs just can't stand it when you laugh at them and their stupid, inane narratives. Satire is a mirror. If you don't like what you see, you can smash the mirror or change what's being reflected. And now that the backlash to the censorship ban wave of 2018 to 2022 is in full swing, and they can't just shoot off an email to Twitter's trust and safety team demanding their detractors have their accounts deleted, their hysteria and desperation is becoming increasingly palpable. Their contrived faux outrage and feigned crocodile tears are becoming more and more more impotent. And quite frankly, it's hilarious and immensely satisfying. Well, cry more. Because now that Elon does control Twitter, the 2024 election season is going to be a hell of a lot more like 2016 than it was 2020. Less censorship and more fun. And there's nothing these joyless twats hate more than fun. Disgusting. Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.